It's February 24th. Tonight is the full moon and it's the snow moon. So I'm going to be doing my tarot reading in just a little bit. welcome back to my channel I am outside right now I'm getting ready for tonight's full moon I'm gonna do a tarot reading tonight under the moon over here in the gazebo behind me I have my crystals over here on the table behind me charging up um, and I have a fire going behind me here so I'm gonna to try to keep that lit today and yeah I will see you guys tonight when we are under the full moon here I don't know how well you can see it, but I have my um, crystals out on this glass table and they're all just charging under the moonlight, which the moon, you can see through here, is right there. But I'm gonna show you a better view, so let's go check it out. It's February 24th, tonight is the full moon and it's the snow moon. So I'm gonna be doing my tarot reading in just a little bit, but I just wanna show you guys the moon in this view real quick. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm just getting my stuff set up. Uh, I was just gonna record while I finish setting up my stuff because I feel like I'm taking so long, but there's no rush. It's just, it's really late. It's like 11.30 maybe. I'm not sure what time it is, but it's late. going to light on this candle. This candle smells so good. It's um, a tobacco candle and if you've never smelled a tobacco candle, I believe that's what this one is. Let me see. Yeah, the tobacco candle looks like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it out here. It's kind of dark. Stick it in here. I love using incense. Um, I burn them all the time. They're always burning in my office and whenever, especially if I'm tarot reading. <clears throat> so I'm using the same cards that I always use. I don't know if you can see this on camera. I don't know how much light. I should put a candle over in front so you can see better. Let me see if I move this one. Looks like this. So you guys, it is the full moon tonight. We are doing our tarot reading for tonight. Um, it's just going to be a general reading for a message that you need to hear right now. So if you clicked on this video, this message is for you and let's get started. What messages? <laughs> It's so funny because tonight's the snow moon and we got the moon card, of course, that's going to come out first. So that's so funny. This is like um, confirmation of that this message is for you. Like that's your sign right there because I'm reading this under the full moon. Um, I'm not taking cards that come out in groups. Um, I'm looking just for one card at a time. 
So if more than one card comes out, I'm gonna just shuffle them back in. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for this group? This is so much fun doing this um, tonight outside. All right, so we have the Three of Cups. I see that right now you're not, um, you're not really focusing on your emotions. You are just kind of laying back in life and You're just like relaxing. I see that you're at a time in your life that you're just relaxing and the smoke is like choking me from this incense. Um, ooh, one of my cards has slipped around. Let's see what card it is because I think that's interesting that that one card is flipped. Where is it? I know I just saw it. this one I seen one of the cards was flipped um like facing front ways all right so let's see oh look there is okay so I'm seeing that you are you're just like on this you're living your life right now and you're just kind of like what what am I supposed to do next because you've celebrated so many accomplishments and you feel like you've done so much and you're just like you're just wondering now what's next like what's next for me so let's see what is next for this group um what messages do we have for this group what's next what can they look forward to You might be getting into a new relationship soon, or you might be making a commitment within your current relationship. Um, I see this is a very positive thing. This is something you feel in your heart that is uh, really important to you. And if you are somebody that's going to be starting a relationship, I'm seeing like take your time with things. Like, um, just take your take your time moving forward and just trust yourself with your decision that you're making because things are so good right now um, you don't want to you don't want to be like tied up you don't want to be held back so just take your time with your decision and with uh, what's coming soon, like what's coming to be with this relationship. Um, and, and yeah, just, this looks like a great reading for you. Like it looks like you're just in a really good place and maybe you need confirmation about something. That confirmation is saying like, right now you're hanging on by by a thread not in a bad way though you're hanging on by a thread because you're like one foot in but you're not all the way a hundred percent in to whatever this decision is and <coughs> um my throat is so dry all of a sudden What other messages do we have for this group? What other messages do we have for this group? I 
I see that um, you've been given advice lately from somebody regarding this relationship and maybe it's a relationship that's not approved or it's not um, it's not it's not that it's not approved but there's something going on here like there's something that's just not right and You're making this commitment, or you may be, like, making this commitment in the near future. But you're still, um, you're still, like, one foot in, um, one foot held back because things are so good for you right now in your life, and you're, like, waiting, kind of, like, all right. I've accomplished all these things, but what's next? So you're kind of just like hanging on. You don't know if you should move forward with this decision. <coughs> with this relationship. I just want to pull one more card to see if we can get some clarity on what this this card might be indicating because I'm seeing like it's just not an approved thing like what you're doing is not the best decision so it's like saying think twice before you make a decision because it might actually just be time to walk away it might be time to turn back to um, focusing on yourself and the adventures that you want and the things that you want for your life. Like, it might be time to just take time to yourself before you make any decisions. And and it's funny because the moon is in this card too. And the moon is like like very significant in this reading and I don't know if it's because it's a full moon tonight and it's just coincidence but I just think that's very interesting to see all right can I have one closing card and then we're gonna get our Oracle cards and see what other messages we have so let's see what this last one is This one is like, um, whatever this decision is that's regarding your commitment. And we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom. But, <coughs> it's this incense. It's going right in my face. Um, so, based on this decision that you have to make, or based on this relationship that you may find yourself coming into, don't let it keep you up at night. Like, kind of sleep on your decisions before you make them. Don't just jump into anything too quickly. And remember that it's important to take time for yourself because life is moving by so fast and you're, you're trying to gain control of all situations around you, but life is just passing you by so fast. And you're trying to take charge of all the situations around you, but because you've done everything that you wanted to do or, like, you've accomplished these things in your life that are different, like, task maybe, um, and you're waiting to see, like, what's next, what's going to come, because maybe you're somebody who is not currently in a relationship and that's something that you want, but you're, you're just being told, like, take time for yourself. <clears throat> My throat is so dry or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I should have brought out my water. I forgot it. Alright, so what messages do we have for this group? What messages do we have?
All right, we have, let me see if I can see this. Caution, guidance, clarity, and stand firm. That's a good card to have. I mean, for what we were just talking about, like if you're thinking of a decision about um, this relationship or this commitment, like stand firm on your beliefs. Don't change who you are. Don't change yourself um, to don't don't change. Just be yourself. That's what that's what the message is saying. Just be yourself and take time for yourself to really like learn who you are and then make your decision. Do I have one more message for this group? I have one more message for this group. Okay, <clears throat> we got the numbers two, two, two. So drawing down the sun, we got wildfires, divine masculine, and witness. And the sunshine to me is just like signifying like um, you're a really blessed person. You have a lot to be thankful for. You have a lot of gifts in your life. And sounds like someone's hunting um so yeah I'm seeing like you have to you just have to trust yourself with your decisions and know that um you're somebody that's very blessed you're somebody that's very smart so trust your decisions when you make them and just believe in yourself and that's all for this reading i'm not really getting any other messages and um yeah i just want to thank you guys for joining me tonight to do this reading this was so much fun reading under the full moon and just having the campfire going out here and having um this time to spend with you guys i'm just so grateful so Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for all my new um, subscribers. Thank you guys so much for continuing to like and share my videos. It really helps me a lot. And if you like what I'm doing, you like these types of videos, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button and I will see you guys in next week's video.